time now see. I decided to take a short trip to London to see my best friend and to just to just feel something again, you know? To just have fun, eat good food, go places because in my little city there is not much to do and I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of it. Basically um I didn't get the job so I've been feeling kinda kinda low. I would say I'll be honest with you guys I'm feeling really really burnt out from everything. So this trip, I'm just hoping that it will inject me with some life, you know? Also have a look at my outgrown, grown out, I don't know, Death Note nails that I did myself. Remember the squares, yeah? Look what I did to them. They're so trendy now, it actually makes sense. Also my hair is such a mess, look at that. What is that? It's just, it's not, it doesn't want to go down. It doesn't want to go down. And my hair is growing out. This is crazy. This this is the longest it's been in. But yeah, there is no official plan or anything. I'm just going to show you as I go. I'm definitely not going to be recording on the streets like, you know, how bloggers do. Like, I'm such a blogger. I'm such an influencer. Everyone wants to watch this. I'm so important. I don't want that. It's so terrifying. I don't know how they do it. I mean, eventually, I guess I, if I get famous ever, I'll do it. I would want to do it, but at this stage, this is just pure cringe. I'm not an influencer. This is just a cute little video for me and my friends and for others. Yeah, who are you? Who, who are you? I'm all ready to go. We're going to have some dinner and just chill out and do some shopping. I don't know. It's already kind of late. So yeah, nothing too exciting today. Oh my god, this is really embarrassing. I feel like everyone's watching this, but yeah, mine and Levi's food is five guys. This is our, yeah, this is what we do. This is a tradition, okay? Thanks. Oh my god, guys, look, Harry Potter, you're a fun girl, yeah? Yeah, all the basic stuff, guys. And for my mom, I'm gonna show, send this to my mom because. London. <gasps> yeah, like, I mean, it's alright, but. The rain though, look at this. This is actually mood. This is nice. Another video for my mom. It's just an excuse. No, it's not really. Oh my god. It's kind of pretty, but like I wouldn't say that it's everything, you know? So I went to Japan Center to buy some snacks. This is just some ramen. Uh, tonkotsu with pork ramen. Some fresh takoyaki bowls. Would be nice to try something decent. I've only had frozen ones. So this should be nice. This is some lotus root chips. Crisps, sorry, crisps. With ume, plum, plum flavor. I'm really excited about this one. I love white rabbit candy, but this is a matcha flavor. Never tried it in any other flavors apart from the original one, the milk one. Some jelly, just some high chew to chew, and just some pastry for breakfast here matcha green tea bun yep oh and some mango flavored pokey so this should keep me entertained tonight <laughs> you know i'm just thinking that harry potter is basic like it's a very basic interest but i don't give a fuck it's one of my favorite things ever in the world one of my favorite universes stories just like i don't care i don't care i admit it i love harry potter okay okay we done we done here not gonna lie today i feel kind of rough because the pillows were shit they're absolute shit travel lodge sort it out it's impossible to sleep on them okay here's my outfit today nothing special just have a few t-shirts with me and that's it and one jumper so, oh my god, such variety, such style. 
Such underground, yo. Little pods for food. That's new. I haven't seen them. Hell yeah. Well, I know where I'm going. Yeah, man. Yeah. But seriously, though, yeah. It's crazy in there. Guys, it's so crazy. Oh, I haven't seen this before. That's so fucking cute. I wonder if the food is actually good because you know such places usually look good but yeah, trash taste. That's kind of cute. Me and Libra just had a terrifying experience ordering food from a food stall. I need therapy after that. Thank you. Oh my god, they're triggered. Yeah, we're going now. We, we are overstimulated by all the mainstream media. Mm -hmm, let's go. The world's Cornetta trilogy every in India. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, the weather is just tip top, like, it's just the best time to come to London in this weather, guys. Look at my hair. Look at this. Look at everything. I'm offended. Same. Okay, woman, not everything is about you. Everything is about me in this vlog, okay? Lucky lanterns. Yes. Damn, bro. That's the most of Levi I can show you guys. He's confidential, okay? I only just got back. I look like such a mess. Look at my nose. Look at my mask. Abuse nose. Okay, well, I'm sorry, the bed is a mess, but I don't care. So, what did I buy today? Obviously, Moomin Shop finds tea. You know, I love tea. I love my tea. Very cute, very nice. Uh, more tea. This one has different flavors in there. Very cute. I just, I, I, yeah. You know, you know me and my tea. Yes, nail fell off, but I have nail glue with me, so don't worry about that. Thank you from a friend. A notebook she loves notebooks i don't know if she writes in them nowadays but we are both known for having an obsession with um little notebooks that we just collect but i mean there you go here's another one <laughs> some socks of course yeah and my most exciting purchase is a daruma doll huh basically since my trip to japan is severely delayed I'm just trying to feed myself with Japanese things because I just I just cannot wait. That's all I'm waiting for in life. If you don't know, um, they are made for you to focus, like make a wish or like a set a goal for yourself. So when you set it up, you draw one eye on the Daruma doll. And when you accomplish it, then you draw a second eye. I don't know what my goal is going to be yet, but the blue one is for like education and career, so I think it's going to be something like maybe art related or my Japanese studies, something personal. So I'm just going to place it somewhere on my desk for me to be reminded of my goal. Damn, what a life eating ramen with a spoon, because why the hell not? Like, guys, this show was actually delicious. Like, I don't know how some powder can become that it was literally like the picture yeah and i'm sure for most people this is not gonna make any sense but do you recognize that do you recognize what i'm saying guys i wanted to do this for years and it's happening it's happening i'm sorry for people who actually live there but i mean it's your fault for choosing such location such iconic location yeah but Sorry for not recording much today. I'm so tired. We didn't do anything special. We just had food, lots of food. I also had pancakes. I forgot to record the pancakes. I'm sorry. <laughs> so the plan is to just meet Levi at a cafe because today a storm has started and uh, 
that's not good. So we're just gonna chill, do some art, eat food, drink drinks, coffee, coffee tea. Yeah, chill last day. Well, pizza time at Franco Manco, whatever it's called. Look at that fish, bro. Because we're such influencers, we believe I was sitting in a coffee chain, obviously. Just how we like it. Drawing. He's working on his book as well, illustrating, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. You're so quick, oh my god. This is a pro artist, guys. Levi told me to vlog here because, oh my god, look at the list of oh my god. Oh my god, this is Japan's this is Times Square. Oh my god. Oh my god, London bus. I got drill for sale. Come shake a bottom with the tennis on the runs. I got the demand. Now I'm going to Japan Center again because I'm obsessed with that ramen. I want something better than pot noodle for dinner, okay? Do you wanna be the shot lever? At least your hand. So, okay, uh, my friend is actually real. He's not my friend. Guys, I do have a friend. I do have friends, okay? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Levi's making a statement. He's wearing his AirPods here. Yeah. Wow. Unboxing, yeah? So, I got this for breakfast again. It's very filling. Love it. And that's the ramen again. <laughs> So I've been obsessed with the cover of Plastic Love by Gina Samuel, the guy who is known for his Chris Chan documentaries. He's talented and he just, I don't know, really impressive. Like he just, he can sing, he can play all those instruments, like this is absolutely mental. So this has been on repeat through my, through my London trip. But yeah, I went to Foils, my favorite bookstore, and got these books here. So I feel like I'm very lucky to pick this up because this issue, even though it's old, the main guest is Simon Hanselman, my favorite, my favorite comic artist. Like, I would say independent comic artist. If you know, you know. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna try and describe. I'm gonna be the monetized. I mean, I'm joking. I'm not even monetized. Oh, sorry. And his series are called Meg, Mog and Owl. Or just Meg and Mog. Google it. If, if you like funny things, then yeah, you like it. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's just very edgy, modern and relatable, I would say. Yeah. And this is another find. I saw it in this state, you know, in this form, like J and K, because these are my initials. And I was like, maybe it's destiny. Then I saw there's a foreword by Simon Hanselman, who is this guy here. And it's published by Fantagraphics Books, which is a great publisher, so this should be great. But the most exciting thing about it is there's like little bonuses here. There's a little zine, there's a little poster, like some trading cards and a sticker sheet. Like, I'm so excited about this. Like, I'm so excited. Like, I love stuff like that. Do we have a look what's in there, huh? Also, ignore the dirt, yeah. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, yeah. I don't know. It's just so freaking pretty. Look at that. I always appreciate the work and the ideas that people put into their books. The way they want to present it to the public. I just, I'm amazed. <gasps> Should we open up? Oh? 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 Let's have a look. Little characters from there must be. little zine speaking of zines i am thinking of making one it's been a while i mean it's been years and years since i made one but oh my god is that little stickers in there this is so cool this is so retro it's also screen printed it's my dream to screen print something Keep singing. He's just oh my god, I can't. I'm so jealous of this guy, but in a good way. He's just very inspiring. Is this a map of something? No idea. Oh, this is so cute. Over there. 
stickers. No, I'm not gonna place these anywhere. They look too precious. Look at that. They're also screen printed. Fucking love this. I love this. This is gonna be a fun raid. I'm so excited to get back into art, to get back into all that stuff that I love. This trip has been very good for me. Meeting up with my best friend who's also a creative, like just talking about art is just, is something I needed. <gasps> there we go, the vinyl. It's actually like, that's, I don't have a, a record player, but deep space. Me and Liv are getting ramen together at this very cute place. That is made to look like a Japanese ramen place, yeah. Very cute, very nice. I like. I'm back home, everyone. Look what arrived. I had a poll on Instagram about which phone case to get. Let's see which one. That is going a bit mental. I hope you cannot see it. There we go. So, who is the winner? Oh, you can see, you can see which one it is. It's the one with the cats. There we go, guys. Can you see it? Can you? Yeah. This one is from Patreon, from one of the artists that I'm supporting. Let's have a look-see. Every month they have like a an art theme and from to vote for it. And that was the Retro Valentine's Day collection. It's so cute. I love it so much. Hello. Kieliczka. Kielinka. Of course, of course. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I know it wasn't very informative, but hope you enjoyed at least something. <laughs> oh, bye-bye.